Hey, I'm Josh uh, with SurvivalSticks.com. Um, I'm leaning on one of our survival sticks. I've been told I needed to create some videos for this, and since I'm the one in the group that likes to talk, I'm pulled back into the backyard here. Uh, as you can see, there's snow on the ground. It's like negative four degrees. Uh, we're in outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, but I wanted to show how to string one of these puppies up, and um, just a little bit about it. Survival stick. This is our walker flage. Uh, apparently there's mm, some questions as to what the camouflage looks like, so this is this is ideal to, to demonstrate. The walker flage, if you go to survivalsticks.com, you'll be able to uh, to take a look at it, um, look at the look at the history, the reason behind it, and what the survival stick really does. But since it's negative four, I'm going to make this incredibly short. I'm going to actually have to pull off my my gloves here for just a second to to show the string up on this thing. So this is a Gen three, Generation three survival stick. It carries a plug at the top. Uh, even in negative four weather, it's uh, uber easy to to get into. Um, the more you use it, the easier it is. Um, I'm not going to go back through the process of unwrapping this just because it's bitterly cold. Uh, fantastically enough, we're going to be at a negative 14 degree wind chill in the Knoxville area. So again, this just came off of the shelf and inside of the stick there is a self-contained arrow. Now this is a carbon fiber uh, 3 inch fletch. Uh, it's got a field point on the end of it, and this comes in the stick. And the other end, there's what we call the fishing stick, um, and that comes with uh, with about 30 feet of, of line. Um, it is a fiberglass rod. Uh, in another video, maybe when it's warmer, when it's fishing season, uh, I'll demonstrate that. Um, but right now, I'm just going ahead. The ground is so frozen, can't even stick that in the ground. I'm just going ahead, you saw I just bumped the end of the stick. Um, and some people would call this a primitive bow, a uh, bow stick, etc., etc. Just bumped the end of the stick into the ground or hard surface, etc. And then I'm going to bend this over. This is the first time that this stick has ever been strung. Um, you can tell that it's got quite a bit of love to it, and it's cold as heck out here. So, here we go. We've got a strong stick. Now, we're going to uh, actually take a shot. This thing is cold as heck on my hands. Not very comfortable, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fling a quick arrow real quick. Show you that this thing operates even in extreme cold. Um, the pattern is really cool. Of course, it's bright. We've got, we've got some more subdued patterns. Um, go to survivalsticks.com and you'll be able to look at all of our patterns. We also offer a vinyl wrap stick which is a UV coated uh, acrylic uh, ugh, acrylic glue that, um, that we wrap the entire limb with um, above and below the grip and the, it, it, we have our own uh, branded camouflage as well. So go over to survivalsticks.com, uh, and the sticks is spelled STX, so it's survivalstx.com, and you'll be able to take a look at this. This thing is rather powerful, um, and then when it's unstrung, again, you just put it between your legs like that, drop it down, it goes right back into a straight stick, and then you'll wrap your line back in, um, and you're good to go. That's it. So again, from Tennessee, where it's negative 4 degrees and will be negative 14 tomorrow, have a good one, stay warm, enjoy your survival stick.